as a kid for me growing up it was it was pretty difficult I mean for a long time you know you you're going through this process of trying to discover yourself and trying to figure out who you are and um, especially with kind of the way things have been um, it's being gay is not really totally accepted yet so you kind of grow up and you're just thinking you know you're different you're um, the way that you are is somehow fundamentally wrong um, and it's kind of reinforced by certain certain aspects of society and you feel alone you feel scared you feel like you're the only one who's who's going through this when in reality you know you're not at all alone there are so many other people in in your exact same situation and I, I felt like there was something different but I didn't really know what it was um, really until I was probably 19 was when I was like okay this I think this is how I am and you know and then it took still six more years after that for me to be able to really start to accept it fully and to say okay I'm, I'm gonna stop apologizing for who I am and I'm gonna stop feeling ashamed of this part of me because there's nothing to be ashamed about it's nothing um, you know, you're not really any different than anyone else. Coming out to my parents was, it was terrifying. It was, uh, you know, it just goes along with the idea of, you know someone loves you for who you are, but there's still just an unknown of, you know, you see in the news so often um, stories of, of kids who have come out to their parents and just gotten totally shunned and some of them, you know, physically abused and kicked out of the house and, you know, deep down I knew my family wasn't like that, but it's still just a scary thing to, it's a scary thing to approach. Um, I, yeah, I mean, my voice trembled, I, I was crying, I was, I couldn't say the words, you know, it, it's, you get this lump in your throat and you're, you're so close to being able to say the words, I'm gay, and you just, they're like right here and you just can't get them out. Um, and it's kind of you're you're beating around the bush, and you're trying to find all these other ways that you can. Like it, it would almost be better if they would ask you, and you could just say yes. <laughs> um, and that was, in many ways, that was what I hoped for with a lot of people that I came out to. I know that it was something that was probably bothering him for a long time. Uh, I'm glad he he did what he did. I personally feel I've always tried to teach him that you know. You are who you are, and and other things aside, preferences, they don't really matter. And if it if it matters to somebody, well, then that's their problem. So uh, I was thrilled, I was happy for him. I think it, it relieved him, you know, of a big burden, you know. And when you're trying to compete at the level that he's going to, you need to keep your distractions as as minimal as possible. So I think for for his well-being you know, mental well-being that, that this was important and I, I couldn't be more proud of him. I think he's a great kid. You just want your kids to be happy and it it was definitely weighing on him uh, in, in everything that he did. Um, so um, he seems to have really blossomed since December. Um, he's had some great races and I just think it really took a big weight off of his shoulders to you know, we had talked about it prior to December, um, and there were, you know, some people that he had discussed it with, but um, to put himself out there like that and hope that it would maybe help somebody else, somebody younger, even somebody older, to, you know, come to terms with who they are, um, you know, how can you not be proud of that? It's mostly... Um, high school athletes or college athletes or you know someone running the Chicago Marathon or something like that just you know they've they've come across my post or an interview in some way and and they've just reached out and expressed um, this is kind of weird to me but they've expressed their thanks to me for coming out publicly and um, you know that's kind of it's kind of surreal and, and humbling um, you know, this is something 
it was a it was a very personal thing that I decided to do, and I at the time I almost thought it was a little bit selfish um, because this was just something that you know I felt like personally I could benefit a lot from just acknowledging acknowledging this about myself. And, and I got to say too, the support yes you know oh from gosh. from his friends, teammates, associates, just people who knew him was so overwhelming. Uh, you know, I can't downplay that enough. I was, I was very, I don't, I don't think there was anyone or any comments that I saw that were, were negative. They were all so supportive. And I think it's because of who Matt is. Matt, you know, uh, is just a good kid. Yeah, it's interesting because, you know, we're talking about Matt as a runner, but for me, like Matt, Matt, like and he, running is something that he, he does. Um, he's just one of the most genuine, compassionate, like, trustworthy friends that I have, so um, I care about his running immensely because I care about him as a person. I just value him and it's hard to come by someone that um, is is like Matt and that you, you can spend time with him and you know like, okay, for the rest of my life this person is just, they're going to be solid. I, I think the, the closer you are with so many, and especially when you're living in the same house as them, you um, you can read their energy very well and their disposition and I felt like Matt was increasingly just more closed in, more pent up, like he just seemed stressed but like not really able to talk about it or talk through it, um, just keeping to himself a lot more. Um, so obviously he was like really wrestling with something but from the outside it's just kind of like it's hard because you're like how can I help you, what's going on? And um, and then, like, once he came out, it kind of all made sense that, you know, he was just really um, having a difficult time knowing what to do with that and, like, how to, um, <clears throat> I don't know, like, bring that into his life as an athlete and be comfortable with that. So afterwards, he just seemed like a lot more peaceful. Like, all of that just totally dissipated and went away. I've known Matt since our sophomore year in college. We, um, our friendship was one of those friendships where we were just always friends. We, I don't think Matt can tell you, and I can't either, how we met. We just were friends, um, pretty fast and, and furious. Um, he was just my, like, my best guy friend. Maddie told me he was gay our senior year. Um, it wasn't his last year, but my senior year. Um, so after three years of friendship, I knew. Um, he took me out to dinner. To tell me and I, I knew um, and I also knew that I was the first one that he had told on campus and um, yeah I knew it was like an event in our friendship and for him um, we stayed up very late that night um, into the night talking it was like finally we could just sit and talk about everything um, it was a great night I don't know if for me there's a, a big distinction but again because I wasn't living in the same town as Matt when he came out publicly, but when he came out to me just in general, it was, um, I don't know, it was, it was like he was really mad at Ben. Um, the, the confident Matt, the, um, the honest Matt, the, the Matt that I always knew, um, who wasn't afraid or wasn't unsure. He was, um, just more himself. Uh, Matt and I actually didn't meet until we both had moved to Flagstaff. Um, I followed him and a number of uh, kind of old broadneck athletes uh, on Twitter. He and I both went to the same high school, ran for the same coach, and he had mentioned, I'll be moving to Flagstaff. If anybody's going to be looking for you know, a new employee, I'd love to find a job. So I did what any normal person would do, and I emailed my coach, and I said, hey, what's the deal with this Lano kid? And he wrote back, great kid get a chance to get him on your team so I reached out to Matt via Twitter and his website and we kind of corresponded a little bit and then we got together for you know my wife and I and Matt and some of his friends for dinner when we all got into Flagstaff and since that was about two and a half years ago and we've become like family since so um it, you know as far as Matt you know coming out publicly it is something that my wife and I had kind of known between the two of us before he came out um, he had actually uh, we'd spent the day together uh, I think about three or four days before he came out publicly and uh, he had come out to us and uh, you know it was I think it was good for him in the sense that he was able to say something and and for us it was something that we had known and it, and it did, didn't matter to us we you know, he was just 
you know, the same same guy one way or another. So I think it was reassuring to him that he knew that people that were close to him either knew or accepted or, you know, it didn't influence at all how we felt about it. So. I do think, you know, looking back on it, that I kind of wish I had done it sooner. I wish I had come out sooner. But at the same time, you know, you never really know. I, I don't feel like I was mature enough yet to really be confident in who I was and to be able to say the words, I'm gay. Like th those two words are, when you're growing up, so hard to say. And even, you know, I came out in December of 2013 and probably for still another six months after that, I mean, still saying the words, I'm gay are, they never really get any easier. Um, that being said, you know, I did, I did date in college. I, I was with someone for three and a half years. So um, I do wish that we could have been more open about it and that people could have known us um, more in the context of our relationship rather than, you know, just two, two people um, who were friends, uh, you know, and I think it, I think it would have changed some things, but you know, you can never really, I don't really have any regrets about it. You can never really look back and say, um, you know, if I had done it this way, then my life would be this way. Um, I think that all of the experiences that I've had so far have shaped me into who I am now and have given me the confidence that I have now. And who's to say that, you know, if, had I done it differently, that I would have turned out the same. You know, my, my life trajectory could have been totally different. So, um, you know, I don't really look back on it too much. I don't, I don't really have any regrets about it. And, you know, just hope now that I've got a long life ahead of me to just be open and honest and live authentically and just be who I am.